Mao playing. Hey guys, it's Mao here. In this guide, I'll show you three ways to cross over to Sector B. As you progress in the game and Sector B is unlocked, you get to explore different parts of the town. You get to unlock later on Kennel, West Dead Town, Mid Dead Town, and so on. But the trouble here is, you not only get to do deals across in Sector B, but sometimes drops are in Sector B. So, you gotta make sure you know how to cr cross over, else you'll be getting caught. Whenever you cross from Sector A to Sector B, there will be a police search. See? But the thing is, it happens as well on the way back. So you might get, you might cross once, but to, in order to get back, you gotta go through it again. So let's see. And here we have another police search. Even though he just searched me a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago. Okay. See, so this can be annoying. If you have drugs, if you're trying to bring back drugs to your base, you'll get caught. So, let me show you the three ways to cross over. Okay, let me show you the first one. Once you leave your home, you have to try and reach this place. So turn left, and turn left again. As you move forward, you see the guy in orange. Yep, I see him now. If you talk to him, he's your guy. He'll help you cross over through this old te technical tunnels. So if you try it out, it's locked. But if you talk to him, he'll tell you that it leads to the old underground technical tunnels. And if you can go in there, he can open it. So how much does he want? For now, it's $100. Let's try it out. So once you pay, you have to click this. And then wait a few and then you are here you are already in sector B let's check it out yep it's pretty far we traveled all the way from here to here now here's the thing if you want to do business do your stuff uh, pick up the drop sell to some clients if you want to go back oops it's locked you got to talk to him again so this will get costly if you want to go back, it costs another $100. But later, as you keep on using this, the price rises. The max I think that it rises to is uh, $250. Yeah. And so that's it. That's how you travel using the first way. Okay. Now let me show you the second way. The second way involves passing through the sewers. Here, you see the sewers hatch. This is where you enter. But before that, you need to make sure you have some bobby pins, okay? You can get this from the gas station over here. It costs $8, maybe get some, like five to six, just to be sure. Then you can enter the sewage hatch, but you gotta make sure, you gotta check your backpack. You gotta make sure it's a small or medium backpack. Any larger, and you won't be able to fit. So once you head down, it's dark, don't be scared. Turn on your flashlight, look around. Oops, there we go. So once you get into the tunnel, turn right. Follow the red lights. We're zooming in. Okay. And look, you see the word yeah. You turn right. Head towards blue crates. This lavatories, then go, go straight. You see the word kennel over here. Let's follow that sign. Here's an open gate. We unlock it by using our bobby pin oops we got almost got it and once it's open go straight head towards the end it's a dead end but luckily there's a tunnel on the right you'll see some red lights go straight through it follow the red lights and then you shall see the sign that says creepy if you've reached here then you know you're in the right place unlock this gate And we've unlocked it. Head through here. Follow the tunnel. Once you're here, you'll see a ladder. And that's it. Climb up. Look around to see if there are cops, just to be sure. Since there aren't any, you can exit your sewers. And we're here. We are now in sector B. That's the second way. Let me show you the third way. 
which is absolutely free, but it can get to be a hassle. So whenever you cross over from sector B to sector A using the tunnel, you have to go through everything, you have to walk back. Okay, now let me show you the third way to cross over to sector B. You can only use this technique if you have a small bag or a medium bag, if you have a heavy lock, laptop bag if you have a heavy backpack or luggage you won't be able to do this so first thing is you gotta go near the fence so this is where the gate is next it involves the act of throwing your bag so if you have a bag you have some drugs you hold B it throws it right so pick it up look above jump throw Oops, sometimes you won't be able to get it, so you gotta figure out the correct angle, and you'll be able to get it soon. And now it's over. Now I'm gonna cross over. He's gonna search me. He doesn't know I threw my bag. It's right there. Okay, man. Take your time. No worries, no worries. Okay. Now I get my bag, and I've done it. I've crossed. But the game doesn't recognize this as one of the official ways. So you won't be able to do your quest here. But be careful. When you're trying to cross over by throwing your bag, if you do it close enough to the guard, it'll trigger a police search. Look, he'll come to me. And even though I threw my bag already, it's still the game treats it as if I have it. So if he searches me, even though my bag's over there, He'll see, it'll say that I have drugs. Oops. And now I'm caught. And that's it, guys. I hope you learned a lot. Learned something new. Please do leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks.